How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at these Bomb Owl SW19 neckband wireless earphones. Now these are for kind of like a, a sports like jogging like the other ones I reviewed. But what's really nice about these ones is in the packaging, if you pull right here, it's actually attached by magnets and has a really nice opening to where you can see them immediately which is some pretty nice engineering on the packaging. I really like when things open kind of smoothly like that. Now it says right here that it has an ANC on and off, volume up, slash next, depending on if you press down or not, the MFB, and then the volume slash previous one. And then it also shows that it has a charging port at the bottom. If we close this real quick, we also see some of the features that are included. A IPX waterproof, 12-hour working time, built-in microphone, and middle finishing. And then on the back, it just gives kind of a view of what they're going to look like. But let's go ahead and open these up and see how the quality is, especially compared to the other ones I reviewed just a week ago. Looks like this slides out pretty easily. Set that to the side. And I'm assuming these will just easily pop out. Let's go ahead and put some pressure. There we go. So, here we go. So the first thing that I'm noticing right here is this is made out of like a uh, plastic material. As the other one that I was uh, previously reviewing, I believe, had a metal material here. I'm not too sure, though. The band is kind of the same kind of spaghetti noodle kind of silicone rubber as the other one. Very soft feeling to the touch, so I assume that it will be uh, just as comfortable and slip resistant off your neck. The headphones have the same kind of grill on the inside to stop debris. Kind of hard to get a uh, good view on that. Here's a little uh, comfort thing for the inside of your ear so it's not too uh, rough around the harder plastic. And when you're wearing them, from what it says on the front, if they're hanging on your neck, they'll actually touch together with these magnets right here so that they won't fall off even if uh, they do slip off because it'll be kind of connected right here. And it takes a little bit to actually pull them apart. But yeah, let's go ahead and connect these to my phone and then compare the quality and see how they are. All right, I went ahead and connected it. It already said SW19, and it's really cool because it also said it has 80% battery, so it tells you how much battery is left in these, which is very convenient so that uh, you don't, uh, you know, bring them with you and not know how much is in there. You don't have to wait for a red light to come on or anything like that. So that's good. Let's go ahead and go to YouTube now and put on some no copyright. All right, I went ahead and connected some no copyright music. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my ear now and see how it sounds. Wraps around the neck pretty nice, and let's go ahead and pop it in. Not too bad. Bass is pretty good. A little tempo-y, but uh, pretty good balance. It is not bad at all. I'd say they're about a 8.5 out of 10 on the sound quality scale of my personal preference, but that's just my personal preference. Let's put it next to here and see if you can hear any uh, music coming through. Sounds pretty good, connected pretty easy, and yeah. And don't forget that after you're done with your music, you can just pop off this little slot right here and charge them back up again. But yeah, this has been the Bomb Owl SW219 headset, and uh, I think I'll be using these as well. Maybe not as much as some of the other ones that I reviewed, but they're definitely a good backup pair in case one of the other ones go out, or you could keep them all charged at the same time so that uh, if one dies, you can switch to the other one. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to check out my Patreon. I have a multitude of tiers that could help you uh, support the channel. But yeah, and as always, I'll see you.
in the next video.